the giants of the solar system. Jupiter, a huge ball of gas surrounding a tiny solid core. The colossus of the solar system and its many moons. And the celestial classic Saturn. Pristine television images of the planet's beguiling rings seen from the twin Voyager spacecraft. All in Encyclopedia Galactica. Jupiter is fifth planet from the Sun and first of the outer giants. A mini solar system with four huge moons, all visible from Earth in a small telescope. Jupiter, a gigantic ball of gas, largest of all the planets, this view from the Hubble Space Telescope. And this from the famous Voyager explorers, time-lapse, cleaned and enhanced by computer. The portrait of a colossus, turning on its axis in less than 10 hours and big enough to consume Earth 1,300 times. It was Voyager, the most successful craft in the history of spaceflight, that unveiled the great planet. In 1977, the Americans launched two Voyager probes for a swing past Jupiter. Two years later, the planet filled their sights, an awesome sphere where a thousand electric storms flashed in the clouds below. Massive belts of weather, the like of which had never been seen. Tempests and turbulence. An immense hole in the cloud deck. And the red spot of Jupiter, first observed 300 years ago, confirmed by Voyager as a storm three times the size of Earth. This time-lapse is from pictures radioed to Earth as Voyager closed with the planet. Two Jovian moons and their shadows. At its center, there may be a tiny core set in pressured ice, but for the rest, Jupiter is gas, hydrogen, methane and ammonia. And because it's so fluid, there's no history to study, no craters, no volcanoes. Had Jupiter been ten times the size, it would have been a star. But its nuclear furnace never got started. Even so, energy released by its slowly shrinking core means Jupiter radiates more heat than it receives. This Voyager sequence shows the weather bands, circulating at different speeds and opposite directions. The red spot is an anticyclone, a monstrous area of high pressure. But how did it form? A weather band, simulated on computer, demonstrates how several storms chasing one another around the planet can eventually merge into a single system, a storm the size of the red spot. On the left, Jupiter as we see it. To the right, an infrared image. It shows temperature variation. Hot gas driven up from the interior is red. Colder gas going down is white and pale blue. Space Telescope photographed this intriguing feature, an aurora circling the North Pole. It matches the halo of the aurora borealis over Earth, an interaction of the solar wind with the atmosphere. The Jovian aurora was visible evidence of the planet's vast magnetosphere.
It's this magnetic field which deflects the solar wind, charged particles continuously streaming from the sun. Jupiter's magnetosphere is the biggest entity in the solar system, larger than the sun, a fact verified by the European probe, Ulysses. But for Ulysses, Jupiter was a sideshow. The craft was using the Jovian gravity as an accelerator, a slingshot to escape the orbital plane of the planets. Its mission was to take measurements over the poles of the sun. This is how Jupiter might appear from its moon Ganymede. The rings were detected by Voyager, fine lunar debris, like talcum powder. Jupiter has 16 known moons, the tiniest discovered by Voyager, the biggest by the astronomer Galileo in 1610. Voyager's pictures of Ganymede catalogued the biggest moon in the solar system, bigger even than Mercury or Pluto. Were Jupiter a star, this would be a planet, but rather warmer. At minus 200 Celsius, the surface is an icy crust 100 kilometers thick. Wrinkles and craters, an old and unchanged topography. Beneath the crust, a mantle of slushy water riding on a rocky core. Callisto, and the roughest surface of the Jovian moons. Impact craters everywhere. The main feature, Valhalla, a basin 2,000 kilometers across, the biggest of Callisto's craters, here in artist's impression. Otherwise, in size, composition, and temperature, Callisto is Ganymede's double a planet-sized moon. But why this dearth of geological activity? One reason may be Callisto's greater distance from the tidal effects of Jupiter. Under less gravitational stress, the frozen crust has been unchanged by cracks, folds or volcanoes. Voyager's next encounter was quite different. The moon is Europa. The surface like finely cracked eggshell. Smooth and uncratered, the whole globe is thought to be an ocean thinly covered by ice. If there's life to be found in the solar system, it'll be in the seas of this moon. Io, innermost of the big four moons, had a surprise. Volcanic plumes first pictured by Voyager 1. There they were, plus the supporting evidence of a sulphurous landscape. In a lake of liquid sulphur, a white sulphur bird. The globe was photographed in more detail by Voyager 2. Here was the most active volcanic body in the solar system. A colorful surface pulsing in the opposing gravitational pulls of Jupiter and Europa. A crust of solid sulfur 20 kilometers deep floating on a sulfurous sea and myriad black volcanoes. Other than Earth, Io has the only volcano seen in eruption. This flying pizza will be viewed again. The American explorer Galileo passes Io in the mid-1990s. But Galileo 
will be fishing in deeper waters. A probe will be dropped kamikaze into the Jovian clouds, there to retrieve data before it's crushed and lost forever in the maelstrom of our greatest planet. Stay with us after the break as we bring you pictures of Saturn, the serene globe, her rings and moons, the celestial classic in Encyclopedia Galactica. <laughs> 